Hey folks, it's Rob from Joe A Day here with a special video review, the first ever video review with me, um, actually with my disembodied hands, as you can see, as per normal with YouTube reviews. You gotta have the disembodied hands, and here are mine. So let's check out Big Brawler with the Artillery Assault. Came out as part of uh, Valor vs. Venom. Big Brawler is, you know, one of those guys that, uh, not looked on too favorably, but nobody brawls big as Big Brawler and nobody can brawl as big as Big Brawler when they're 12 inches tall. They finally got it to the point where, you know, they said, can he brawl big? Well, if he's three and three quarter inches tall, that's just not big enough to really capture the essence of Big Brawler. So let's make him 12 inches tall. We could have done lots of other 12 inch figures, you know, we could have done, uh, you know, uh, a classic version of Shipwreck or Flint or something like that. But no, let's 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 do Big Brawler because he really embodies the essence of what makes G.I. Joe cool. And you can see that just by what he's, uh, the device he's sitting on here. It's quite the uh, piece of hardware, I suppose, with the uh, very large projectile there. Make your own jokes there, folks. Anyway, uh, we'll get him out of his chair here, his little lazy boy lounger there with the uh, firing projectiles. Give that a shot real quick here, no pun intended, but... Wow, look at that, huh? Amazing stuff. The power of foam, the power of Nerf and Hasbro coming together. Amazing stuff. Anyway, let's look at him. So here he is. So here's Brick Brawler, uh, unencumbered by his large... Um, artillery piece there standing proudly 12 inches tall you can see up next to his uh, original version here much bigger you can also see that you know a lot of people have compared the look of the original big brawler to uh, TV's Christopher Lowell from uh, I don't know the learning channel or something some kind of home decorating uh, television show anyway he's uh you know, he's gotten quite a bit more hair here, as we see in the days gone by. He's looking uh, looking a little better there, I think. Looking a little bit more like, uh, I think, less like Christopher Lowell and more like maybe um, Barry Bostwick from Megaforce with the uh, headband and the 80s hair kind of going on there with the little little flip-do there in the front. So, pretty nice-looking figure. Uh, kind of suffers from the... 2000s figures uh, tendency to have the molded on shirt which is not too cool it's got the real cloth pants of course but never been a huge fan of the of the uh, molded shirt there and of course you couldn't make him awesome without uh, giving him an Uzi you know because the most awesome G.I. Joe character Snake Eyes has an Uzi so hey let's give Big Brawler an Uzi right I mean, you couldn't give him a samurai sword this time, so they gave him an Uzi. Uh, it's got a folding stock. I think this actually came with the Snake Eyes from the Hall of Fame series first. Anyway, interesting weapon choice, I suppose. And speaking of interesting, interesting uh, pattern on the pants there. Kind of the uh, geometric, uh, I don't know, uh, second grade construction paper cutout camo I guess you might call it anyway stand up there Mr. Brawler thank you so when the first version of Big Brawler came out he was based on the Outback mold from uh, 87 as you can see here aside from the head and I don't know why they didn't um, just make this character Outback maybe it was because of uh, they were worried about a rights issue with Outback Steakhouse you know they didn't want Outback Steakhouse sending their cadre of Blooming Onion lawyers to uh, to sue them for copyright infringement on the name. Maybe that maybe that was the case. I don't know. Whatever it is. Anyway, um, the look of the big brawler from the uh, the Tiger Force look obviously comes comes from the uh, European exclusive Outback um, from the 90s. Obviously, though, he doesn't have the white hair. I don't know. Maybe they said, well, let's give him some just for men you know, hair color, so he doesn't look quite as, you know, so maybe the ladies will dig him a little bit more. I don't know. And he's got the Just For Men gel, you know, for the beard, too. You gotta throw that in there as well. But you can see this, the similarities here. Um, 
obviously the new one. I kind of wish they would put they had put the uh, the cool little uh, cute tiger uh, t-shirt emblem on there, but they didn't do it. But you know they had to put brawler on there so you could be clear as to who it, who it was on this new one. So uh, I think that's the inspiration for it. Don't know really why, but interesting to note. So despite the fact that I was bagging on Big Brawler there, you know, he's still a fun character, I guess a lovable character in a, in a weird kind of way. Um, and I like the weird stuff anyway, so this toy really uh, works for me, especially, well I just said it, it's a toy, it's the, uh, the accessory with the firing cannon, it's pretty awesome. Let's try it again. Neat! Anyway, I love that kind of stuff, I love the accessories. It's part of what makes G.I. Joe pretty cool. I mean, other other than the uh, the characters and the story and the, the design and everything, I love the toy aspects of it. And this is a pretty pretty great toy, actually, for the time. Um, you know, it could have been better, but it's still a pretty cool toy. And, hey, it's Big Brawler. I mean, come on. It's 12 inches of Big Brawler. What more could you ask for? Anyway, this is Rob from Joe Day signing off for now. Look for more videos for other characters and other figures and vehicles that, I, that can't be contained in a, in a text and picture format. You know, you just got to go big, like you go big with Big Brawler with some of these things. You're going to have to put them on video because you just can't get the full effect without the, uh, the moving pictures, as it were. So, thanks for watching, and see you all later.